Okay. Moving on to item number five on our agenda. Um, that is going to be, sorry, shuffling papers again. Um, the Public Safety Department's overall budgets um, with a focus on personnel increase review and recommendations. Um, so we have a, a recommendation. I put out an amendment partially because I found a typo in the original recommendation that I wanted to address. My fault. I'm sorry. I was trying to get all of these done so they could be available um, by Friday. Uh, and so you guys would have the weekend to look at them. I apologize for making a typo in that one. Um, and then uh, again, the the way that uh, this was prepared, I pulled together all of the um, feedback and information from our last two meetings and the comments, which I've been taking pretty detailed notes on from all of my fellow commissioners to try to incorporate everyone's feedback into a single document to give us a starting place um, on our recommendation. Uh, this recommendation is on the base budget. So, um, just as a reminder, the base budgets are based on a five-year plan. These have already been approved by city council for the five-year plan, but we can make a recommendation that there are adjustments, if that makes sense. So any questions about kind of the purpose of what we're doing here? Just a process question. Just a process yeah, question. So the additional F EMS FTEs that we already voted for, do, would it be redundant for them to be added into this? Or does that make sense as kind of a summary of what Public Safety Commission has recommended as far as public safety staffing? Um, so my perspective is that um, this recommendation is an ask to have these incorporated into the base budget whereas the other recommendation is for the additional requests. Does that make sense? So I'm asking for them to build it into the base budget for the agencies. Okay, I don't know. I don't know how much that distinction matters. I mean, do you have an idea why that distinction matters? Uh, because I, my feeling is that if it's incorporated into, and this is based on just my perspective, um, uh, that if it's incorporated into the base budgets moving forward, we will see those items uh, recurring in future year budgets. And then as this additional, you know, we really want this item. Um, that That's just my perspective. I just, I want to make sure it's incorporated into the base budget uh, moving forward. Also, uh, another thing, I hope we have Bob Nix on the line because there's an important in this for uh, Austin Fire Department because they had previously approved in the base budget the um, staffing for an aerial apparatus and for the staffing to support that aerial apparatus and then that funding never happened. Somehow it got removed from the budget. It's never been put back in and I think it's very important that we you know, figure out and, and go back to we've already approved this. Why don't we have it yet? Commissioner Weber. So 1,000%, I agree. Um, but I just want to uh, clarify. I think the fire and the EMS budget recommendations that we already passed, both the fire one includes that aerial, the aerial staffing, the aerial apparatus staffing, and then the EMS one, What I just want to make sure everyone understands what we just passed was asking for permanent positions, permanent additional FTEs. So I may have... I may have put it in the wrong document, but because, you know, I think, Chair, will you agree that like the fire one and the EMS one include permanent positions? Yes, um, maybe I can reword this recommendation to make it a request that it is built into the base budgets moving forward. Does that make sense? Yes, okay. Uh, it's just me saying, don't make this a one-time ask. I want this to be in the budget permanently. Okay. Yeah, but Any I'm just clarifying that we just passed two other recommendations that we want to be permanent. Correct. Oh, yes, okay. for sure. Yeah. I'm just, yeah. this, this is me being overly cautious like I tend to be. 
So I, I, I have a question. I need clarification on yes. what was passed uh, specifically relating to APD uh, and uh, additional for civilian FTS. How is that different from number five uh, requesting additional FTEs? Yeah, those positions are not included in the 30 FTEs. The 30 FTEs are uh, sworn personnel. So those are police officers in uniform. Uh, the four additional civilian FTEs were outside of that. Any other discussion, questions, et cetera? Commissioner Kelly. Can we vote on these separately like we did the last? The last one? Yes. So vote on the police based budget, the um, uh, fire based budget, and the EMS based budget. Yes. And the way procedurally forward is for our motions, um, as we, because we don't even have a motion on the table right now, um, for our motions to be to vote on those separately. And then when I revise the recommendation, I will split it into three pieces. So I'll do recommendation 005 Zero zero five A, B, and C, out of that. Chair, Commissioner Nunez. Yeah, I had a question about the wording. So I'm I'm looking at the attachment where it does talk about all the staffing levels um, in the mm -hmm. backup documents. Um, for number one, um, remove the allocation for thirty additional FTEs for officers in the Austin Police Department. Um, yeah. So I think I just got it confused because it's like remove it, but then we're the the budget on the the item on the table is that we're adding, right? Right. So that that piece is um, request, and so that's why it says the Public Safety Commission recommends that the budgets are adjusted in the following manner. So from that base budget that's being submitted, uh, remove the allocation for the thirty additional FTEs. Yeah, yeah, I'm just, okay. So there's that amendment there, okay. Yeah, so it's asking them to revise the budget that they've got put together to not include those positions. Got it, thank you. Yeah. Any other discussion? Do we have a motion on the floor? No, we have And again, we, we will, oh, yes, Commissioner Weber, thank you. So I think, it, I mean, to me, it makes sense to go ahead and take up the fire department one because we've already discussed it and kind of approved it, right? So is that is that okay, Chair? So sure, if you wanna make a motion to do so. I move that we recommend that council um, fund, you know, keep the current staffing levels at the fire department and add the aerial, the staffing for the aerial apparatus that, that we talked about earlier. Okay, great. Do we have a second? Commissioner Kelly. Sorry guys, I'm just going with whichever hand waves in front of my face first. Um, all right, any discussion on that? All right, let me find my trusty voting tabulation. Form. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna proceed to vote. Uh, Commissioner Hollis votes yes. Commissioner Weber? Yes. Commissioner Kelly? Yes. Commissioner Bernhardt? Yes. Commissioner Harris? Yes. Commissioner Hausenbluck? Yes. Commissioner Nunez? Yes. Commissioner Alvarenga? Yes. And Commissioner Gonzalez, oh, sorry, absent. Um, I'm gonna keep trying to call her because I keep seeing come in. All right, uh, so that passes. I will uh, reconfigure that into a separate recommendation and have that ready for uh, Ms. Jackson. Commissioner Weber. I move that we recommend that um, the city, rather than what it says here, which is 19 additional sworn FTEs, that the council fund Austin Travis County EMS permanently going forward with 42 additional FTEs per the um, recommendation that we passed 
you know, 45 minutes ago. Okay, great. Do we have a second? Commissioner Kelly seconds. Everyone seconds. All right. Commissioner Hollis votes yes. Commissioner Weber. Yes. Commissioner Kelly. Yes. Commissioner Bernhardt. Yes. Commissioner Harris. Yes. Commissioner Hausenfluck. Yes. Commissioner Nunez. Yes. Commissioner Alvarenga. Yes. Passes. Great. All right, moving on. Our last thing we have to deal with in our last eight minutes before future agenda items. Um, APD budget. Do we have a motion on the table? Keeping in mind, we have to do something. We have to provide some sort of recommendation to council, whatever that recommendation says. Um, I'll, I'll make a motion. Commissioner Hausenfluck. Um, uh, my motion would be um, to approve the base budget less the 30 full-time equivalent um, per year original recommend, you know, per, per the part that you wrote in your original recommendation. Okay, do we have a second? I'll second. second. Commissioner Weber and everyone else. Okay, uh, fantastic. Uh, so we will go through any discussion, sorry. All right, uh, Commissioner Hollis abstains. Commissioner Weber. Yes. Commissioner Kelly. No. Commissioner Bernhardt. Yes. Commissioner Harris. Abstain. Commissioner Hausenfluck. Yes. Commissioner Nunez. Yes. Commissioner Alvarenga. Yes. Okay, that passes. All right, we made it through budget. We should have a party. Okay. <laughs>